15 billion miles. Yeah. We wanted to sort of get a feel for how do you wrap your brain around that? Yeah. <laughs> so we know the, the sun is big and the earth by comparison is pretty small. Imagine this ball is the sun. Hang on to that. So this is a little grain of salt. That one little grain of salt right there. Not mm -hmm. a grain of rice, a, a grain salt, of salt. Right? Okay. That is the size of the earth. Okay. But to get the right distance away from it, I'm gonna walk over here. This is about 30 feet. So this little grain of salt now from the ball is 93 million miles away. Okay. And that heats our planet. It seems so much closer. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> now at the same time, if we were to look at where Voyager is, uh -huh. that is gonna be way out here almost to the Dublin Road water plant. No. Yes, so here's a map. Take a look at this so you get a better idea of where it actually is. We've got a map of Dublin Road where we are and then out to the main water plant. And that's where you see, see how that, it's about three quarters of a mile. So that little grain of salt is three quarters of a mile away from the ball. And that is how far away Voyager would be, sort of somewhat in scale. Now, how far does that mean? Well, think of it this way. So here's the Earth. Here's the sun. We're not at scale at the moment, but 93 million miles away. If you send a text message from the Earth to the sun, it'll take about eight minutes to get there. Another eight minutes to get back. So 16 total. If you send a message to Voyager all the way out here at 15 billion miles away, it's 22 and a half hours each way. So you send the message Monday morning. It gets here Tuesday morning. It sends a message back that arrives Wednesday morning. Imagine sending text messages that way. Talk about frustrating. But that's what NASA is doing to try to communicate with Voyager. It is that far away.